In this video, I will be showing you how to make your own lettering or doodles. You can put it on a card, in your journal, or something else you wish to create. All you will be needing is a sheet of paper or copy paper to cut into fours, an eight and a half by 11 size preferably, and a pen, a pencil, a micron pen in the color of your choice to color in the doodles. These small practice sheets are meant for just that, practice. Once you create your doodle, you can transfer it onto cardstock, Bristol board, or even watercolor paper or mixed media. In order for you to make a card for yourself or for family members by using a light box or using transfer paper. In this video, I won't be showing you how to transfer your sketch onto a better sheet of paper but if you would like me to do that in future videos, please comment below and I will try to do a next video on that. Last but not least, I will show you how I created my own piece by adding some positive words into my journal. Let's get started. First, I wanted to lay down guides to where I want my lettering to go. Just a note here, these lines are a little bit off and wonky, but you can lay down a height line and a baseline. I decided to choose the word eager, meaning a wanting to do something very much. So I was very eager to write this word. <laughs> you will need a line where each letter is going to begin and stop. I should have drawn a top and a bottom line plus a line in the middle or the waistline for the letter E and the tail or the descender. The lowercase E came out a little bit bigger than expected, but I'm not going for perfection here. Remember, papers you cut out are for practice if you want the letters to be straight. Make sure you center the word so one side doesn't look wider than the other. Space out your letters, your regular letters, your capitals and your lowercase letters to give them some room when you go around and create your hand letters. After laying out your letters, you can start to decorate around your word. You want to have fun with it. After laying out my letters, I decided to draw a daisy at the top, between the A and the G. Now I'm adding a little B below the letter, A and the descender line. A little B flying with a spiral dotted line. Take your time, you can always stop the video if you would like to see how I drew the B or to draw your own little B and your decorations around your word. I went on and decorated the sides with a partial frame or you can also go all the way around your word if you'd like with the leaves and berries. I wanted to add some beads or some berries along the sides of the word as well. When you create your own frame, you can use a ruler. I didn't use a ruler with this one. I tended to eyeball this one, which came out a little uneven on one of the sides, but again, it's not perfect. It's finished. Remember, if you watched any of my other videos, the leaves are like drawing some oblong shapes going away from you. I laid out the stars by placing five small lines crisscrossing each other and created the shape of the star by laying out the base lines first. If you like this content, now is the time to click that like button. Now let's color in the letters. You can always use a different colored micro pen or marker. If you choose to use a marker, please know that you will have some bleeding going on to the other side of the paper. So make sure you don't have anything on the other side of your journal or sketchbook you don't want ruined. <laughs> I learned the hard way. 
When I made my hearts video with all the flowers and the hearts, I used a gel pen and an alcohol pen which seeped on to the other page where I had some lettering and other creations on that page. So that page is damaged right now. Live and learn. Once you've added everything to your piece, you can take a photocopy and make it bigger or leave it as is for a card by transferring it to cardstock or any other paper of your choice. Starting a new word, again, you will need to add a line where each letter is going to begin and stop, a top and bottom line plus a line in the middle or the waistline for the lowercase letters and the tail or the sender for the letter F. I added a top line to add a flourish to the letter F. This time I chose the word favor. Yes, it's spelled correctly. I looked it up. The meaning of this word is an approving attitude, goodwill, being regarded with approval and mercy. Remember to leave enough room between each letter so you have enough room to create your hand lettering. I started to draw some roses by creating a circle first for each rose and then drawing a smaller circle in the middle with ruffly petals. Keep going around within the circle and create each petal for the rose. You can stop the video if you like as well. After creating the three roses, add some leaves to the corners of the flowers. I decorated the page also with some dots and a daisy above the bee. At this point, I didn't know what else to add, so I added a butterfly as well. This time I decided not to put a frame around the word. Now it's time to ink the word favor. Sit back, relax, and watch me ink the word favor. Or you can continue to ink your word as well while you watch me and listen to the music. Now it's time for a positive note. Every man's life is a fairy tale written by God's fingers by Hans Christian Andersen. Now I will be inking a piece that I made in my journal of positive words. And if you look a little closely, you can see that I wrote D tight instead of delight. I was kind of shocked when I looked at it and I went over with a white gel pen to fix the mistake. Enjoy the rest of the video and listen to the music as you watch me finishing this piece.
If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on any future videos. God bless and thank you for sharing a piece of your day with me. Bye-bye. See you next time.